testimony at this time. Ms. Sands? Thank you. Dagmar Sands, and I live on State Bridge Road next to the Johns Creek High School. Been there for 40 years. We did send you the letter, so hopefully all of you have received it. I have not received response from everyone, but hopefully you have read it. I represent, I'm a realtor in Johns Creek, and I represent eight property owners that lived on State Bridge Road adjacent to the Johns Creek High School. We were in Johns Creek since 1978, and we are a community called North Fulton Estates. North Fulton Estates started at the Bendlock Bridge and went all the way to the creek. All of the residents that lived on State Bridge had anywhere from three to five acres of land. That property has changed because some of our owners have sold to the Johns Creek High School and State Bridge Crossing Elementary. Then Beezer Homes came in a year and a half ago and redeveloped their property to eight units per acre. Our 25 acres uh, right now is residential. We have eight property owners. And same thing as with the Atlanta Athletic Club. We were as transitional. I think we were a distinctive piece of property as well. It's got a beautiful topography. Uh, people that have not walked it don't know what all is there. Uh, so representing the eight property owners on State Bridge Road, we all are in agreement that we now have a contract from a developer that would like to develop it. We have tried to have him have a meeting with the um, adjacent subdivision that backs up to uh, back of us, which is Medlock Bridge Road. Medlock Bridge Road does have one acre, which is on State Bridge, but is landlocked. And so we have tried to get the developer to show the residents of uh, Medlock Bridge how they could either have access to State Bridge or they could gain a lot of money. But I'm not sure if all of the residents of Medlock Bridge have been told that this property does exist and that they could possibly have their dues reduced uh, by selling this one acre to the developer. So we are asking that the property the 25 acres remain transitional. Most of the eight property owners who have all written a letter to you and will be here on Thursday uh, to represent each one of themselves. And I think a couple of them have met with Lenny and at your office and, and uh, have spoken with the city council members. So we ask, same thing as with the Atlanta Athletic Club, the property... Um, is going to be enhancement. It's not going to. Uh, it's going to be uh, developed into something that's going to be beautiful, and it's going to complement and bring value to the subdivision like Medlock Bridge. Medlock Bridge, even though the uh, property owners back there touch us, they are actually two miles away from us. They don't have access to State Bridge Road. We're next to the Johns Creek High School. Uh, yes. Uh, when we moved there, I used to have one car every 30 minutes go by my house. Now there are like 56,000 cars a day going in front of my home. I used to come out of my subdivision, uh, out of my driveway to the left or to the right. That has changed. Y'all have now made it where I can only turn right on State Bridge Road. And when I'm coming home, Stephanie, with those red lights, sometimes I'm sitting at that light at the school for three to four minutes before it changes and I can turn around to go to my home. So we do ask you not to change it from the transitional. We do ask that you will look at everything else that's happened to North Fulton Estates, how it's been split up, and we are no longer residential. And as one of the neighbors pointed out, you would have, you know, if um, uh, we would put trash cans on State Bridge Road and you put residential in there, it would uh, really change the look of State Bridge. So please keep it transitional. Work with the developer that we currently have that's going to come in f uh, front of you with his proposal, and I think it's going to bring value to the homes that are in our area. Thank you. Thank you for your input.